Just a video. I have a throttle lock on here. I did a whole video about this and how to install it. Um, if you have hand guards or if you have uh, heated grips, you're going to need to watch that video on how to install this. It's a little bit trickier. Um, so today though, my focus right now is going to be this throttle assist right here. And it just clips on. I'll show you after, but I need to go and test it out. And uh, then we'll do a rundown and I'll give you some more details. But I want to see the uses. And I have some good pointers about this throttle lock also. Um, some things to be very careful about. And I want to find out if I have any issues with this uh, throttle assist, which is basically just a rest for your wrist. Okay, so let me go out. I'm going to do like a 40 minute ride and I'll be right back. Well, it should actually be uh, sunny right now. It's not that late, but as you can see, it's pretty smoky around here, uh, southern Ontario. I guess there's fires everywhere. BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, uh, northern Ontario, Quebec, out on the east coast. There's fires everywhere, I guess. It's kind of odd, but anyway. So here I am, I currently have the throttle lock on right now and just my initial idea is that it really seems to be the best uh, if you're on a straight road and you're just heading out somewhere and you're not going to be playing with your throttle at all. It's really easy to operate, basically you get your speed set and you just push your, take your thumb, push forward. And then you're you're set and that's how it works and then to whenever you want to slow down and I think any time that you're going to do anything that's coming up maybe there's some hills or turns that you know you're gonna to have to change speeds for or if there's a stop sign coming up it's a very important to I just do a quick uh, bring my throttle right down clutch and throttle at the same time and I make sure it's right off I can see it moving so I know it's not engaged at all otherwise you're gonna end up getting yourself into trouble because if you forget or you don't put that throttle all the way off from that throttle lock and you pull in your clutch guess what's gonna happen your bike's gonna rev out and then you're gonna probably panic or something and maybe you'll let the clutch go I don't know anything could happen but anyways, you might go for an unexpected ride. So I am now in the habit of, if I plan on doing anything that's coming up, other than just sitting on a straight road cruising, uh, that throttle lock is completely disengaged. So I'm gonna get into the wrist assist. Now I'm finding this uh, quite nice. Here it is out on the corner here. So basically, you kind of get it set in the right little spot, in a sweet spot, and you can kind of, you can stretch your fingers out. You don't have to, you know, grip the throttle the whole time. So it works really well so far. I'm kind of happy with it. Um, certainly gives you an opportunity to, you know, release pressure on the throttle. So this is what I'm talking about. I think this would be, this is gonna be super handy, this, this uh, throttle assist. Super easy to put on and very effective. I'm, I'm really, really surprised. I mean, if I had to decide which of the two to get, um, this, the, this metal throttle lock is about 20 bucks. And this little plastic uh, throttle assist here, where my thumb is, it's like $10. So the reason I have these is because my hand, it doesn't take very long. If I'm on a, you know, five, 10 minutes holding the throttle for a long time, my hand just, it, it's wrecked. I don't know, there's something wrong with it. So, but even with this throttle assist, which I think might be safer overall, um, for example, I mean, right now, I, at least I don't have to take my hand off the throttle. I can, I can even just put my thumb on there, you know, give my fingers a rest. 
and plus with it under your wrist, you can learn to relax your fingers. See, I can move my fingers. So I really like this uh, throttle assist. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I'm, I'm super surprised. I, I It's worthwhile trying, I, I think, for some people. And it's nice. I mean, you can just sort of rest your hand on here. You can move your fingers, all of them, all at the same time, even your thumb. Very happy. My, my hand's gonna talk to me. I'm really glad you got this wrist throttle assist type thing. It really helps my hand. That's the sun, folks. Look at it. Oh, that's a nice view. You can really see the smoke, hey? A? I said hey, but in Canada, I was supposed to say A. Hey, A. Man, they put gravel on here. That was a turtle, folks. He should be all right. Unless you guys want to look at a turtle. We certainly can look at a turtle. Because there's another one here. But I'm going to leave him alone because these people out here are pretty good. See, he's been hit before, but I'm going to let him be. I think uh, this road, no one really comes down here. So, uh, good luck, little turtle. You'd be fine. You just stop moving because I'm in causing you grief. So, if you do find a turtle on the road, if you're going to move him, move him in the direction that he's going. Don't put him back on the other side. Yep, something's in my helmet. Get it out of my helmet. Oh, now my earplugs aren't in. Jeez. So, I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna give you the conclusion here already. I, I've been driving for quite some time now and both of these devices are really cool. The throttle lock, I think, is really more suited for probably on paved road um, 
or a very subdued dirt road but the throttle assist which is the one I'm testing out here today I think as an all-purpose thing I it, it's I would have to say I would go with that before this throttle lock um, it just it's more practical for the type of driving that I do so that's the caveat if you are normally on paved roads doing some distance driving definitely I would do the throttle lock that would be my first if you are mostly uh, some dirt road and trail stuff then the throttle assist that's the way to go uh, 100% I think um, but I guess to each their own, right? And it's going to take a little, I, I need to adjust this a little bit. Um, the, so the profile is a little bit lower. Maybe I'll do that now. I'm just finding at the, at the slower speeds. Um, it's kind of sticking up a little bit. And I want it more level because that's my natural position. So... If I just drop my hand down, I don't make the bike go. So in order to do that, you have to actually spin it all the way around. And I think I'll just try to get it, you know, parallel with the ground. <clears throat> and that would be once I take that and take the play out of the throttle here also. I'll take that into account for my positioning of this throttle assist. I think that's going to be better. Just a minor little adjustment. Oh, and before I forget, I did a whole video on this throttle lock. So I'll put a link in the description, especially if you've never put one of these on and you have sort of bigger hand grips. And also, um, if you have the hand guards on here, super important information about how to get this on here properly with the hand guards and a larger uh, grip. Mine's a heated grip, so it's really, it's a lot bigger in diameter and um, it's soft rubber really tough thing to do if you're not if you don't know how to do it anyways check it out you'll be glad you did throttle assist is great for everyday stuff just uh, scooting around some dirt roads maybe some windy roads it gives you a little break once in a while but you're not committed to anything the throttle lock uh, i find it's great uh getting somewhere if i need to be driving for like you know, 30, 40 minutes straight or longer, whatever. Um, the throttle lock definitely is good too. So in conclusion, I like them both and I'm keeping them both. Uh, I just found that I could use this once in a while and when I'm not using this, this is always here. So perfect for trail riding, I think. Slower speed stuff, yeah. Anyways, take care everyone. I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up.